day YouTube. This is a quick video comparison between Ubuntu 20.10 on the left and Kubuntu 20.10 on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, let's pull up some basic sta uh, stats here and have a look. Now, first of all, uh, Kubuntu is actually based off Ubuntu, which in turn is based off Debian. But these are uh, just current point releases, so the latest release in the series, so the latest version in there. Now, there are some very distinct differences between the two. So Ubuntu on the left does have a, a GNOME desktop environment, sort of customized with an Ubuntu look and feel experience has looked this way for, for quite some years now. Then on the right hand side, uh, no guesses here, but uh, the we're actually dealing with the, the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So it, these two are a little bit different, the way that they work. So GNOME is uh, used on a whole bunch of systems, whereas KDE Plasma, uh, it's still used on quite a few uh, distros, but it's it's very uh, sort of a high-end uh, Windows-esque feel, look and feel to it more so there. We've got a few uh, context menus here, a little bit of extra options, widgets and things on the Kubuntu side of things. Uh, if we were to maybe have a look at the file managers, just have a, a quick brief look at what we're dealing with. So we are dealing with Nautilus or files or GNOME files on the left hand side for Ubuntu. Nice and uh, I guess the nice dark color accents or tones, uh, that is customizable though, that can be changed, uh, but simple and useful. Right click, you can open the terminal, which I love. Then we've got on the right hand side, uh, the Dolphin file manager, maybe a little bit more heavyweight, actually I can't prove that, in fact maybe I can in just a moment, but it is uh, just a very useful file manager there as well. If we uh, jump across into some of the raw specs, uh, having a look at the, uh, let's let's have a look at the kernel and see what we're dealing with there. So we are using the same kernel on both machines. No surprises there as well, as they are the same uh, Ubuntu slash Kubuntu version there anyway. And last but not least, let's have a just a quick bit of a look at the CPU and RAM usage. Should be all loaded up here. So the CPU is mostly idling out for both. Uh, this is quite funny here because these are just really booted up from scratch. There's nothing really loaded in the background, except of course for the operating systems itself. And con the the actual Kubuntu is running at about 620 megabytes of RAM, uh, running straight off at boot up. Whereas Ubuntu, not as uh, maybe a little bit more resource heavy there. It's just just going nuts at the moment. I can't exactly say sure why that is, but uh, you know what? I might just do a bit of the old kill all. Uh, gnome shell. Let's just see what happens because no, that's that's gonna kill it. That's cool. That's fine. But it does use a bit more uh, console, or should I say, Kubuntu did use a lot more back in the day. But uh, that's pretty much it. it. It really has optimized and come down, and uh, maybe even a little bit lighter. Ubuntu should use about a gigabyte, so it was using a bit more. I'm not sure why, but. That's pretty much it guys, um, thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.